Then they came to Kafarnau and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit conversed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. After calling his first disciples, he does his first miracle in Kafarnau. This gospel testifies Jesus performed his first miracle on a Sabbath day. Jesus took part in the Sabbath by teaching, exercising and healing. In the gospels we see the miracles Jesus initiated by himself performed during the Sabbath days. All the other miracles we see some relatives or friends or the person himself approach Jesus for healing. Jesus regularly observed the Sabbath day by attending the synagogue services. Jesus used those moments with the people for teaching. And we read, the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Jesus has the power over everything. The scribes taught the people the knowledge they have from the scripture. But Jesus taught them the word of God. He is the word of God incarnated. And when he teaches, it will be with authority. In Mark's gospel, we see Jesus dismantled the power of evil by curing various sicknesses. In the healing of demoniac, we see a larger complex of a material exhibiting a striking difference between the forms of address employed by the demoniacs and the titles used by ordinary sick individuals. The latter group appeal to Jesus as Lord, Teacher, Son of David or Master. The demoniacs, however, address Jesus as the Holy One of God, the Son of God or the Son of the Most High God, formulations which identify Jesus as the Divine Son of God. Though the evil spirit knew who Jesus is, he commands him to keep silent. And we can see this throughout this gospel. The demonic powers were the first to be confronted by the Lord. Even if the demons confess Christ without charity, that meant nothing. While Peter's confession sounded almost the same verbally as the demonic confession, the crucial difference was that Peter confessed out of love, the demons out of fear. So, we are not to believe the demonic powers even when they tell the truth. Jesus silenced the demons because he did not wish that the truth should proceed from an unclean mouth. It was fitting that the truth should become a means of judgment not only for the salvation of those who believe but also for condemning those who do not believe that all should be fairly judged. When we reflect on the first miracle of Jesus, we see the mission of Jesus to dispel the power of darkness. In the presence of Jesus, the unclean spirit cannot withstand. This incident took place in a synagogue during a Sabbath day and that man might have come for the Sabbath service before also. But on this particular day, in front of Jesus, it cannot remain silent. The power of Jesus' words heal the person from his infirmity. The people were utterly astonished and alarmed at Jesus' word. The same measure of authority with which they had been confronted in his teaching was demonstrated in the word of command to the demon. There had been no technique, no spells or incantation, no symbolic act. There had been only the word. There was no category familiar to them which explained the sovereign authority with which Jesus spoke and acted. Their astonishment is reflected in the question, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. The incident is generalized in their thinking from the single instance they have observed to the repeated instances they sense intuitively. They do not fully understand who Jesus is or what his presence means. Still, they cannot evade the impression of having been confronted by a word 
invested with power to which there were no analogies in their experience here was teaching qualitatively new in the authority with which it laid hold of men and the people were alarmed the report concerning the authoritative words enigmatic bearer went forth at once into the surrounding region the disturbance of men by god had begun many people never believe in the power of evil in the present world they think these gospel passages are mythical stories but it is foolishness to believe in such a way where the presence of evil is very much visible the church has always thought that demons are real spiritual beings fallen angels created by god but became evil by their own free choice through his cross and resurrection christ definitively conquered the powers of hell though there is unavoidable evil present globally we believe that god can work good out of every sin the grace of baptism affords us protection from demons and the strength to resist their seductive influence may god bless you all